What's good YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk about surveillance photo of the gunman who shot and killed Young Dolph goes viral. You know, that whole Young Dolph situation, it's an unfortunate one. But currently, I can say that this is a small update. Hopefully, the popo gets some more information and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get into this article so y'all can see what's going on. So it says, photos of Young Dolph alleged killer surface. New developments have been made in connection to the murder of Young Dolph after photos of his alleged killer surface. On Thursday morning, November the 18th, Fox 13 Memphis reported that Memphis Police Department are looking for two suspects in the murder of the Chicago-born Memphis bread rapper who was killed on Wednesday, November the 17th. The news outlet shared two still images, presumably from surveillance footage, which very clearly shows two men. One of the men is in a dark hoodie, grey sweatpants and a medical mask holding what looks like an assault rifle. The other man wearing a black hat, black hoodie and grey sweatpants is holding a gun and appears to be firing the weapon, likely into the window of Makeda's homemade cookies where Dolph was when he was shot and killed at around 1pm. Local Memphis outlets were at the scene of the crime yesterday in the parking lot of Makeda's homemade cookies, the owner of the establishment told Fox 13 that according to his employees, Dolph had come in to buy cookies when someone drove up shot and killed the rapper. He had come to the cookie shop a week prior to make a cookie purchase as well. The investigation into young Dolph dead is ongoing. Shortly after the news surface of the rapper's passing, rumors began spreading that Prive restaurant in Memphis owned by Yo Gotti's mother and black youngster's grandmother's house had been been shot at. However, those claims were later denounced. Four years before Dolph passing, he was involved in a shooting in Los Angeles in September of 2017 outside the Shoe Palace. Although he did sustain injuries, they weren't life-threatening. In February of 2017, young Dolph black SUV was riddled with a hundred bullets while the rapper was in Charlotte NC for CIAA weekend. No one was in the bulletproof vehicle and no injuries were reported. Black youngster was later arrested in connection to the latter shooting along with two other after warrants were issued for their arrest, the seven charges youngster face six counts of discharging a firearm into occupied property and one count of felony conspiracy were ultimately dropped. So yeah guys, that's basically the update that I have. Um, so I'm hoping that the Popo gets some form of information as to who is responsible for this horrible situation. You get what I'm saying guys? Um, you know, we see a lot of persons. Well, I don't want to see a lot of persons, but we see where few persons are actually reacting to, you know, this whole sad situation. We see where Juicy J, um, we see where Quavo, I think Quavo posted a picture as well. Yeah, Quavo did post a picture. Also, Gucci Men posted a picture of Young Dolph. Um, Gucci Men's wife, Keisha Kiar, or whatever her name is, she actually posted a photo as well. So, you know, it's just a sad situation. You get what I'm saying? Y'all know Dolph has his kids and stuff like that. So, wow. Anyway, guys, as I said, hopefully the Popo gets some more information and catch who is responsible for this. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to end the video right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.